frequently asked questions about macrocytic anemia. What is macrocytic anemia? Macrocytosis, generally defined as a mean corpuscular volume greater than 100 femtoliter, is frequently encountered when a complete blood count is performed. What are the causes of macrocytic anemia? The causes of macrocytosis can be broadly classified as megaloblastic and non-megaloblastic. Megaloblastic processes are characterized on the peripheral smear by macrovelocytes and hypersegmented neutrophils, which are absent in non-megaloblastic macrocytic processes. Megaloblastic anemia is caused by vitamin B12 or Fil8 deficiencies. Non-megaloblastic anemia is caused by alcohol abuse. Medications for example HIV medications, anticonvulsants, chemotherapeutics, phthalate antagonists such as methotrexate, hypothyroidism, liver disease, hemolysis, and myelodysplasia. Which of the causes are most common? The most common etiologies are alcoholism, vitamin B12 and phthalate deficiencies, and medications. What is the diagnostic strategy for ascertaining the cause of macrocytic anemia? Once macrocytosis is identified, the history and physical examination help narrow the differential diagnosis. Obtain a history of alcohol and medication usage. Physicians should begin laboratory evaluation by ordering a peripheral smear, a reticulocyte count, and a vitamin B12 serum level for all patients with macrocytosis. Hemorrhage or hemolysis is the most likely cause if the reticulocyte count is elevated. Measures of vitamin B12 are a useful part of the initial workup, because if vitamin B12 deficiency is present but undiagnosed, phthalate repletion will correct the megaloblastic anemia, but not the possible neuropathic changes that occur with B12 deficiency. When the history and physical examination, peripheral smear, B12 level, and reticulocyte count have not lead to an obvious diagnosis. Consider a comprehensive metabolic panel to look for liver and kidney disease, thyroid stimulating hormone for thyroid disorders, phthalate level, and methmalonic acid and homocysteine levels to assess for vitamin B12 deficiency, despite a normal vitamin B12 level. If the cause remains elusive, consider again whether the degree of anemia or the patient's overall health warrants referral to a hematologist for bone marrow biopsy, or search for error causes. Audio Jungle Audio Jungle